So what is AR, VR, MR, and XR? And how do these acronyms actually play a big role in today's world? I want to be able to define this because I want to introduce you to the channel in a way that you know the background, the fundamentals. Once you know this, you can jump into more practice videos, but in today's video, we're going to be explaining what each of them are. I'm going to start with augmented reality, which is AR. With augmented reality, we're basically overlaying digital items in the physical world. That could be, you know, an animated character that you may have that you want to place in a specific location. It could be basically, you know, a spaceship that doesn't really exist that we're overlaying. And when I say overlay, we're normally using a mobile device. This could be an iPhone device. It could be an Android device. They need to support either AR Kit or AR Core which are frameworks that the operating system, iOS and Android support. The other thing that you can also do with these technologies is uh, features such as plane detection, which means that the phone is capable of detecting surfaces. You can also use body tracking technology, which means that we can now start detecting, you know, when a human is, you know, in front of us, it could be that a human is moving around and it's actually going to detect each part of our body. That is body tracking. You can also use it with face tracking and you've probably seen a lot of you know, demos from using a snap lenses, which is basically detecting your face and placing digital objects on your face. And you can also use point clouds. There are many different features supported by these devices. Other features and technologies that you can actually use today are the ones that I mentioned, which is going to be ARKit and ARCore. You can also use other frameworks such as AR Foundation, which is the one that I teach a lot in the channel. And this is a wrapper around both ARKit and ARCore and also other type of operating systems such as Magic Leap and also other devices. The other thing that you can also use is you can also use Buforia, which is also a very popular one. You can also use, in addition to Buforia, Wiki2, which is also another one that is very popular. And lastly, the AWOL. I really like the AWOL because it allows you to share an experience without actually having it to push the device, which means that you basically share a link once the person has that link, they basically have an augmented reality experience that they can show, you know, at any, at any time. So now that you know what augmented reality is and you have a brief idea of augmented reality, what is virtual reality and how do we use virtual reality today? So as opposed to augmented reality, where we are augmenting our world, virtual reality takes us to a different world. Now we're talking about going into a completely virtual world a digital world where we don't know anything about the physical world. That's what virtual reality is. We're basically playing in a completely virtual world without any knowledge of the physical world. Normally you see this in, you know, in games, a lot of people know what Big Saber is. You are dancing, you're seeing blocks coming towards you, you're moving around, but everything that you're seeing is basically a world that was created in 3D. You don't see anything in the physical world, even though you can map the physical world by designing the different, you know, the boundaries of your, of your virtual reality experience. That doesn't really, you know, give you the augmented reality experience. So that's why we call that virtual reality. Virtual reality is also very common seen today in devices such as the Oculus Quest 1, the Oculus Quest 2. You've probably seen it in o Oculus Rift as well, which is a device that you have to tether to the computer. You also seen it in the Valve Index, also in the HP Reverb, and so on. There's a lot of devices that support virtual reality. So now that you know that augmented reality, which is AR, you are basically augmenting a reality. We go into virtual reality. We're completely immersed in a, in a virtual world. Now, how do we go from those two completely opposite into mixed reality? So mixed reality is awesome because it's combining you know, a lot of ideas from the two. Now, mixed reality, which is MR, is basically a hybrid of AR and VR. Now, not only we can place objects, overlay objects in our, you know, in our real world, but the objects also know about the physical world. One good example is by wearing the Magic Leap and also wearing the Hot Lens too. So if I wear these devices, as soon as I start the experience, it's going to start mapping the area. It's going to start learning about the, the area. It's going to do what's called meshing, which is basically going to start creating a 3D mesh of the entire of the entire office in my case, which is going to map to the to the experience. So let's say that I want to place something on the wall. I want to place, let's say that I want to place a frame. Now the frame is going to know there is a wall. I can place it right on the wall. Another thing that I can also do is I can also, I'm gonna be using the controllers and it's going to create a 3D mesh of my hands. So when I'm wearing the HoloLens, I'm basically using my hands. I can also, if I want to, let's say that I place a cup right here, which is using augmented reality. Let's say that I wanted to rotate that cup, right? 
I can do that by actually doing gestures with my hands. So now we're mixing, you know, we have a digital world and we also mixing the physical world because now it knows that I'm basically doing a gesture. So we're mixing the two of them together. Some of the devices that are supported by mixed reality technology are of course HoloLens 1, HoloLens 2, Magic Leap that I already mentioned. You can also use the Acer, which is a mixed reality device. And there's some other devices as well that support MR. So now that you know that augmented reality is, you know, we're augmenting our world, then virtual reality, we're in a virtual world. Now we are in, you know, mixed reality. We're basically mixing the two together by combining and getting, you know, knowledge of the physical world and also the digital world, where the digital world knows about the physical world. Now that's MR, AR, and VR. So what is XR? And XR is basically everything that I talk about. XR stands for extended reality and it's everything that I teach in the channel. It's basically the framework that com is composed of all the different pieces that I just mentioned. XR is what my channel is about and that's basically what AR, VR, MR and XR are. If you guys have any other questions about any of these terms, let me know in the comments and please let me know if you like videos like this because I want to do more theory type videos and I also want to invite you to check out the links below because I'm going to and I already have some playlists that are going to that go through AR which is with AR foundation VR which I use the Oculus Quest integration I also use MRTK and then MR I'm also using MRTK which I use with HoloLens 1 and also HoloLens 2 and then extended reality is everything that I'm teaching in the channel so if you guys have any other questions please let me know and thank you very much for your time.